Tesla Motors Instagram today shared this breaking video from Giga Berlin factory's paint shop showing how Giga Berlin paints its test Model Y vehicles and it applies coating. After dipping the car in a cleaning bath, we electrically apply a coating to prevent corrosion when on the road, reads the message apparently by Tesla, quoted by GF4 Tesla Twitter blogger who regularly documents Tesla Giga Berlin's progress with daily updates. So take a look at this video, friends. What do you think? I think it's very interesting. Maybe nothing special because all the companies do it this way, but we know that Elon Musk has said that Giga Berlin is going to have one of the world's most advanced paint shops in the world in the automotive industry. So I've been reading some comments. People say that Giga Shanghai is pretty good also, and this is going to be even be better than Giga Shanghai. And that Elon Musk also has said that once Giga Berlin is up and running, the paint shop's new technologies will be applied to other new Giga factories that Tesla builds and also Fremont and of course uh, Tesla Giga Texas. Now when you watch this video is it fair to conclude that it's clear from the video that automatic car washes are perfectly fine as long as they are fully uh, they are full immersion? Um, what do you think? So now Tesla Giga Berlin really nears the start of the full production once it receives the final permit from the relevant German agency. In the meantime, about 20 days ago, if you remember, I reported it, German State Environment Agency issued another early permit to Tesla, allowing the EV manufacturer to produce 2,000 Model Y test vehicles at Giga Berlin Giga Factory. According to Frau Zeit, the spokesperson for the Brandenburg Ministry of the Environment, Tesla requested to manufacture more Model Y test vehicles at Giga Berlin. The State Environment Agency previously approved test production of 250 Model Y bodies while Tesla waits for Giga Berlin's final approval. Tesla requested an advanced approval because the quality and manufacturing efficiencies required for system and unit acceptance in relation to the operating unit mentioned have not been achieved. Tesla noted that the parts and bodies that have been manufactured at Giga Berlin thus far differed considerably from system specification. The agency's 12-page approval allowing Tesla Giga Berlin to manufacture 250 Model Y bodies included an addendum. The addendum states Tesla is now de facto able to produce pre-series. Tesla is permitted to manufacture 500 bodies per week with a maximum of 2,000 bodies in total. So let me know, friends, what do you think about this development? What do you think about um, this new Instagram video from Giga Berlin's factory paint shop showing how Tesla paints its test model by vehicles and it applies coding. Uh, anything special that you notice or just standard in the automotive industry? Also, when do you think the first model by vehicles will roll off the assembly line? Today, also in our YouTube's community page, I posted a, um, a, a question asking our community members, when do you think, uh, actually, uh, which of these these two gigafactories you think will first start deliver production, mass production and deliveries, Giga Texas or Giga Berlin? Giga Texas started several months later than Giga Berlin in terms of construction, but it seems that Giga Texas is now more advanced and closer to the final approval, although Giga Texas is also waiting for final certification, than Giga Berlin. But um, who knows, maybe Giga Berlin's uh, final approval co will come tomorrow or next day. So we'll wait and see. This is Armin Harayan from TorqueNews.com. Please subscribe to our channel, friends, for daily breaking Tesla news. Ring the bell so you don't miss my next coverage and share in social media. Give us thumbs up, like this video. I would greatly appreciate it and I'll look forward to reading your uh, opinion and comments in the comment section below. Have a wonderful rest of the day. God bless you, everyone, and your families. Let's move on to our next Tesla story. An industry insider says that German Tesla Giga Berlin factory is not yet ready for the drive unit production, but but there is a good news about which I'm also going to say in this report. Many curious people have waiting for the final approval for the Gigafactory in Grünheide, Giga Berlin, which Tesla has been building since the beginning of 2020, because only then can it produce and sell Model Y in large numbers. 
because dozens of new Model Ys have appeared on the site on same days since pre-approval from the beginning of January, some people also assume that the factory is actually just waiting for the official starting signal to start the mass production of Model Y at Giga Berlin. According to information received by the Tesla Mag that the YouTube channel important technology is still missing for large-scale production at Giga Berlin. But don't worry, there is also good news. Now, the information comes from the environment of the German mechanical engineering industry, which Tesla boss Elon Musk has repeatedly praised. Specialized companies, some of which are little known because they are not listed on the stock exchange, make important contributions to the realization of the Gigafactory near Berlin and other Tesla projects. According to earlier information from Tesla Mag, for example, the German machine builder Saurusik supplies plants for the production of 4680 battery cells in Fremont as well as in Grünheide and Tex uh, Texas, Giga Texas. The gap that Tesla Mag has now become aware of with a view to the German Giga factory is not about batteries. For the time being, the batteries will come from China, as CEO Elon Musk indicated during a visit in October 2021 and confirmed in last week's quarterly report. As you know, Tesla Giga Berlin's battery factory is not yet ready. Unlike the two main buildings for electric car production in Grünheide, the battery building for uh, Tesla's own 4680 battery cells that was started later is not even finished on the outside. But we saw that some inside things and parts are being installed already. However, as was learned from the informed source, the drivetrain unit for the Model Y performance, which can be seen again and again on the Gigafactory site, is not yet being produced on site. It's being imported. The square building next to the long main building is intended for this purpose, but according to the information, not even all the systems required for the drive production, drive unit production at Giga Berlin are on site. They are to be brought to Tesla later. It could be a few months before they reach the large quantities there as well. So it will take some time for Giga Berlin to ramp up the production. The pre-approvals given to Tesla to test production, uh, to test produce the 250 Model Ys and then 2,000 more Model Ys seem to confirm this narrative. This allows the use of the press shop, foundry, body shop, paint shop, and final assembly areas for correspondingly limited quantities. However, neither approval mentions the production of the drivetrain or drive unit or, comp uh, or its components for it on Giga Berlin. Until this area is also up and running, Tesla will source drives as a complete assembly from China or Fremont factory, the source suspected and told uh, uh, Tesla Mag. But production there is running at full speed, so that probably not many components, uh, components were left for Germany. Therefore, for the time being, very limited numbers of Model Y from Gigafactory Berlin can be expected until they start producing their own drive units. So I spoke with Tobias Lind about this issue who has been chronicling Tesla Giga Berlin from day one. He said uh, nothing new is here actually. Drive units are not made at Giga Berlin right now the same way as they were made in Shanghai where they started production. The drive unit building is pretty much empty right now. I asked so Tobias what is the positive about this? What do you think about the positive aspect of the news? He said well the positive thing is that they can start meaning Giga Tesla Giga Berlin can start producing with imported drive units, meaning Tesla Giga Berlin can still start making Model Ys after the final permit for sales and deliveries um, with imported drive units, same as they import battery cells. Tesla Max says in the video, which I will have the link in the description of this video, that it's not about the performance version. It's only needed for the mass production of the long range version. So maybe they won't import the performance motors anyway. So what do you think, friends, about all these developments at Giga Berlin? Anyway, once the final permit comes, Tesla Giga Berlin will be able to start mass production, but it will take some time until they ramp up production and start producing drive units at Giga Berlin instead of importing it. This is Armin Harayan from TorqueNews.com. Please subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla news. Ring the bell so you don't miss my next coverage. Have a wonderful day. God bless you. And let's move on to our next Tesla story.